Welcome to the training module of testing process of lightning arrester also known as surge arrester using SA30i+. In this video, we are going to learn about surge arrester, testing and importance of LA and SA testing. Surge arresters are used for protecting equipment like transformers, circuit breakers from lightning and over voltages by limiting them. The surge arrester SA was traditionally neglected, maybe because of its low cost. The performance monitoring was not done as meticulously as for other equipment, leading to high failure rates in field. Our SA30i Plus device test LA's under live condition using wireless technology. This reduces the downtime of the system since it operates in online condition. So, there is no need of shut down or isolate the surge arrester. Let us see the features of the device. This is the power button. USB port for communication with SA data software, temperature sensor for measuring ambient temperature and for correcting the third harmonic current value at 20 degrees Celsius. It has a display with backlit LCD and a large font to enable the user to read easily and which can be read in broad daylight or sunlight. Here are the touchpad buttons to select from the options. Master Earthing This is CT and FP self-check. This is the RF antenna for communicating with current transformer CT and field probe FP. Inbuilt thermal printer. These are the ports to charge the CT and FP. And this is the fused AC input port. Let us see the accessories used with this device. This is the CT unit, that is current transformer unit, which captures the current flowing through the cable connector to the counter. This is the field probe, which acts like a filter. This is the master earthing cable. These are CT and FP charging cables. These are the RF antennas. This is wire for AC input. This is rod for putting FP at the right position. We monitor healthiness of SA in live switch yards using this instrument. It basically captures the third harmonic current flowing through SA DUT. Each surge arrester has some leakage current flowing through it. With the help of CT, this leakage current is measured and the third harmonic current is calculated, which indicates the condition of the surge arrester. First, let us see what is system harmonics. There are two types of methods to do this, B1 and B2. In B1 method, we measure third harmonic current without system harmonic compensation. While in B2 method, we measure the third harmonic current with system harmonic compensation. Now what is the system harmonic compensation? As we are measuring the current in live switchyard, there are system harmonics present in the overhead lines. They can affect our results, so it is necessary to nullify the harmonics. Now let's test the surge arrester. But remember, safety first. While performing the test, always wear safety shoes, safety helmet, safety goggles and flame-resistant clothing. Personal safety is of primary importance. There is a live overhead wire to which a surge arrester is connected. It has an earthing wire which is connected to the surge counter and then it is earthed. Connect one antenna to the CT unit and press the power button on it. Then this communication LED starts blinking. Now clamp this on the earthing wire. Connect another antenna to the field probe as shown and press the power button. Here too the communication LED starts blinking. Now attach rod to the field probe. Now someone must hold this stand in the surge arrester area. The FP should be held up to the base of LA. Now connect the earthing cable to the master earthing of the SA30i+. Connect the other end to earth structure. Now connect another antenna to the testing device SA30i+. 
Now press the power button. On the display, you can see the name of the device and its version. Then it shows the charging of the device. Now the main menu can be seen on the display. With the help of arrow keys, select the test option. It will show all the settings of the device. If something is wrong in the settings, you can change them from the previous screen. If the settings are correct, the printer will print the result. This concludes our training module on testing surge arrestor.